Hi guys. Just dust my face. <laughs> How y'all doing? This is Miss Collins, aka Miss Tell Like It Is, 48 the T. The T. <laughs> so today's video is going to be a TJ Maxx slash what? Burlington Coat Factory makeup haul. Now, between TJ Maxx and Burlington Coat Factory and Marshalls, don't three right there? I got issues. <laughs> but right now, we're only going to be talking about TJ Maxx and Burlington. Okay, so let me make sure of that. Yeah. Okay, so I went to TJ Maxx for the first time, but the one I'm going to show you is Burlington. Burlington. My thing is with Burlington is I'm really okay. You see I'm not smiling, right? I'm not I'm not smiling. <laughs> yeah, so let me just show you what I got from Burlington. Oh, I have my glasses. Alright. I got my glasses. I'm sure what I got from Burlington Burlington. Now I was online. And as I was online to make my purchase, I picked these up. I picked these up. Now I got these for this is I got it for nine ninety nine. What the? I'm gonna look. Right, nine ninety nine. And what they are are eyeshadows. <laughs> what type of eyeshadows are they? Let me show you. If I can get close. Oh my God. See the imprint on them? They're Hello Kitties. They are Hello Kitty eyeshadows for $9.99. Okay? And I'm going to swatch one. All right? Hello Kitty eyeshadow for $9.99. And I don't know if you guys at your Burlington Co Factory or whatever, when you're online, they got them little bowls with all kind of different makeup and all kind of different like knickknack things. Well, I suggest y'all go through the knickknacks. <laughs> because, honey, I found these knickknackers. And I was like, yes, I bought two of them. I bought two of these. Out of the knickknack bowl, and let me come back again with what I showed you. Isn't it pretty? Look, it has like a, gl a glittery type shimmer thingy. Yes. Also in that knickknack bowl, I purchased this. This is also a uh, Hello Kitty eyeshadow. It's eye cap eyeshadow stick. Okay. That one. And and this one. This one here. This is also Hello Kitty. And I'm going to swatch this. I'm going to swatch this and show you. I'm going to take it off and show you. Um, ooh. I'm opening this for the first time with you guys, okay? So, this is what it looks like. That. And then we're going to swatch this. See how pretty that looks? That looks so nice. See? Yeah. So, you can use this. I don't even know if this can go on as a lipstick, but it's so creamy. It's very creamy. And this is an eyeshadow, so let me just roll it down. And yeah, this is an eyeshadow. It's a creamy. It's called Cookie. This is called Cookie. Okay. And this one is called um, Birthday Cake. Oh my God. 
birthday cake. So I'm gonna open up the um I'm gonna open up this birthday cake to show you whew, how it looks. See that? So you can see that. And I'm gonna swatch it. Birthday cake. Birthday cake. Okay. Yeah. So that's cookie and birthday cake. And these were for a dollar forty nine. Yes. Then I got this item. Okay? And it's called the measurable difference. But let me tell you something. When I went to the, um, no, you know what? As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave this for last. And then I'm going to go in on this. That right here. Okay? I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to the, should I go in on it? I'm going on it. Yeah, I'm going on it. I'm going on it. This item did not have a price tag on it. It did not have a price tag on it. When I got to the register, I said, Miss, I would like to buy it. She's like, Miss, it doesn't have a price tag on it. Blah, 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 blah. I was like, okay, but I want to buy it. But we can't sell without a price tag, and it looks like it was a part of another package or whatever, whatever. I was like, but I want to buy it, and according to what I see on the shelf right there, I don't think it was a part of another package. I don't think so. So she calls this other girl for her to go and take a look and see if this was part of another package or whatever the case may be. I said, Miss, all of that song and dance is really not necessary. All you got to do, I said, because I can assure you this is not a part of any other package. Because I looked through the whole shelf. I said, just get a price tag and stick on here and get another item for like whatever. And what? you know, ring it up, put that price tag on, and ring it up using the other the sticker on the other item. Now we have to file a policy. I was like, okay, we'll file a policy. I said, so if if you can't find you know a price tag whatever for this whatever, you can't sell it to me. No, we cannot. I said, yes, you can. I said, and you will. I said because I'm a customer and I'm always right. So I said, and by you that? not selling this to me, you're taking funds out of Burlington Coat Factories pocket and I'm more certain that the EEO and the CEOs would not like that. So I know you're probably saying, oh you just a you better blah, blah, blah. that's not the point. The point is ladies and gents is that when you go to those stores like Marshalls and TJ Maxx and all these other places and you're buying cosmetics and stuff and you're buying um palettes or whatever they need to do what Macy's do. They need to open it up in front of you to, so you can see what you're buying. You know how many stories I've seen on YouTube or everything that I've heard on YouTube how people purchase these things from Marshalls and from Burlington's or whatever and they come home with a whole bunch of product fallouts or missing brushes? That's frustrating. I mean, let me see what I'm buying. But then, anyway, long story short, she was going over and over and over. So the lady came back and she said, I have this item right here for $2.99. And I just put this little sticker on here like that. And she was like, just bring it through for her for the $2.99. She's like, okay. I was like, what? yes. No. That's exactly what I, I told you you could have done. Do that that's, what I to that's what I told you that you could have done. She's like, but I had to follow up. I was like, okay, fine. I said, but going forward, I said, I don't know who the manager here, here is, oh but Ooh. the next time you... um. A customer comes and they're interested in purchasing makeup or whatever the case may be and they come to you with a palette, you should really open it up so that the customer can see what they're buying. And if they still want to buy the makeup palette or whatever and it has broken up whatever and fallouts, whatever, then, you know, let them buy it. Don't say no, you can't sell it to you because if, if I want it, give it to me. Anyway, she sold it to me and I was determined to get it. Why? <laughs> Let me do a little swatch. I'm going to just take my finger and go like this. 
right? And then I'm going to go like Wait this. A we did this before. You see that? Do you see that? Yeah. This is a highlighter. Highlighter. Yep. And oh my. It's mine. That's right. And I'm sure y'all probably want to give me the thumbs down or whatever the case may be. But I don't feel that because, you know, I, I feel like if a customer, if you go to one of these stores and you have a palette and you want to buy it, they should open it up and let you see what you're buying. And let it be your decision whether you still want to buy it in the condition that it is or isn't. They shouldn't just say, oh, we ain't selling it to you. What? Whatever. I told that lady, I said, I don't care if it's on his left leg. If I want it, I don't care if five different shadows is missing out of that palette. If I still want that palette, sell it to me. Don't tell me you can't sell it to me. I want it. Okay? And all of them little taped up palettes, whatever, untape it and show me what I'm buying. <sighs> Alright. Enough of that. Now we're getting into some TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx that I went to, and now I live in New York. So the TJ Maxx that I went to, there's two that I know of, but I went to the closest one to me. And that's downtown Brooklyn. When I went down there, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I can't even explain. I was so disappointed. The one downtown Brooklyn, I was so disappointed. I was like, I felt like I was dumpster diving in the department store. Yeah, I, I, I kid you not. For every item that I picked up, just for the most part, as far as like pallets and stuff, I had nothing but product all over my hands, everything. I was like, when you go to this TJ Maxx, I gotta wear gloves. I was so upset. Anyway. From that TJ Maxx, I picked up Jacob. I'm not TJ Maxx. My son making all this noise. He's playing on the PS4 thing. Um, I bought this item from the TJ Maxx. And I this is how much I paid for it. I paid four ninety nine for this. This is a extra extra large kabuki brush. One ninety nine. Oh, they're not bad. My son, y'all. This noise. Then I picked up this BC strobing like a boss brush. See that? And the cost of this brush uh, is also four ninety nine. Now, um, I'm testing these items with you guys. I, I've never even taken them out. I don't even know. I have no idea. So I'm gonna take it out for the first time. It's pretty nice. Um, oh. I don't see we much did. shedding. We did. I you know, know it's pretty. It's very pretty. We did it for the second time, yeah. Joe. I feel confident to do yes. that. Yes. All right. Yes, I am. I do most of the work. So now, as we far did. as this, the Studio Max, I'm sure you guys want to know how soft it is, right? This big one. Yeah, we're. Let's see. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna open it up just for you. Let me take it out the package. Uh, ooh, this is so soft. This is soft, man. Look at that. Beautiful, yes. It's a keeper. It is a keeper, and it's so pretty and elegant. This little gold bottom part. Oh, is this beautiful? Yeah. So 
So I might have to do a, a part two because my battery's running out. So guys, I'm going to come back to you guys. I'm going to charge my batteries and I'm going to come back to you with part two guys. So see you soon. Ha, ha, ha.